In this video, I will be discussing a Bible translation I have and my testimony on how I found it. So stay tuned. For those who don't know, this building is called a church. But what is the church's purpose? Why is it here? Why do we need it? That's why I'm here. And that's what I want to find out. Welcome everyone. My name is Zeke Matthew. And on this channel, we do a lot of original movies and series, as well as anime and manga reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. It was 2010 when I started reading out of the NIV Bible translation, when I noticed no matter how many times I read it, I got this irritating headache like it was too hard to understand. So, I reviewed myself and how I learned, and when I thought about it, I started seeing I enjoyed stories and movies and how I learned new things through that. So, I prayed to God for a Bible that was accurate to his word, but read like a novel. Six months later, I started reading different Bible translations, and I read the Message Bible, New Living Translation, Common English Bible, The Voice Bible, and others, all reading Genesis 1-1. If it gave me a headache, or I could not keep reading it in that passage, then I put it back and get a new one. It was not until I found two translations I liked, the Common English Bible, and the Voice Bible. Unfortunately, the Voice Bible did not have the whole Bible at the time in 2011. So I reread both Bibles, deciding back and forth. The only thing that I did not like about the Common English Bible is their use of human one instead of son of man. So I ended up choosing the Voice Bible and could not be happier. I have read the Bible twice now, New Testament three times. I could not get enough of this Bible, and I want to share it with others. That is my testimony on how I found my Bible. Let me know about a testimony you have on how you found your Bible. And join me next time, where we will discuss the role of a pastor. And never forget, anime seek is for you.